the other two auto filters, auto levels and auto color, are also very useful and they do a very similar thing. All three of them are going to improve your contrast, but they're gonna do it in slightly different ways. Uh, auto level, so here's the, I have all three of the filters applied, but they're all currently turned off. I'm just gonna to toggle them on and off so you can see the results. So just watch the screen over here, right? This is auto contrast on and off, auto levels on and off. And let's just start with those two. The difference between auto contrast and auto levels. And if you, it's a subtle difference. The auto, auto levels is, doesn't seem to affect the color as much as the auto contrast. And the, the reason for that is because the way that these are done, auto levels basically just identifies the darkest pixel in the image and sets that to black, identifies the brightest pixel in the image, sets that to white, and then uses that to create a curve of black to white. And that is a, a really nice, efficient way. And it's something, if you're familiar with using Photoshop, very, very commonly done in Photoshop to improve images. Auto contrast does the same effective thing, but it does it based on the red, green, and blue channels of the image, not the black and white points of the image. So it finds the brightest red pixel and sets that to 100%, the brightest green pixel sets that to 100%, and so forth. And then, you know, the darkest sets them to zero. So it creates a stretch, but it stretches three different channels independently, whereas the auto level stretches all of the, the channels simultaneously. Now, there's, not, no, there's no answer as to which one is better than the other. They just sort of are slightly different different results and sometimes one will look better than the other and you can combine them. There's both of them together. That's both auto levels and auto contrast. That's just auto contrast. You see it's a little bit redder. Uh, and there's the auto levels without the auto contrast. And you see it's a little bit greener. And again, that's just sort of based on the, the original, what this particular image started with. Uh, and then finally, the auto color is, again, it's still going to affect the contrast, but you see it's not as dramatic of an of a increase in the contrast. The blacks didn't get blacker. The whites didn't get a whole lot whiter. But what did happen was it, it shifted the hue a little bit to make what was near, near white pure white and what was near black pure black. In this particular case, I don't really like that result. It sort of makes it look a little bit washed out and it gives it actually almost an aged look, but that's really not going to be consistent. That's only in this particular clip where that's the result we're getting. So I ex recommend experimenting with all these different auto settings. They're super easy to apply. You know, really just double click them and there they are and you'll get great different results and you can experiment with them. And all three of them have these black clip and white clips. So if you like the auto color tone, but you want it to be a little bit higher contrast, just increase that black clip and then increase that white clip. And then you'll get, there we have now this auto color one, which is basically uh, with increased contrast. And the difference is really that the auto color seems to increase your saturation a little bit, at least in this example, that's certainly what it's doing. It's increasing our overall saturation. So the colors are a little bit richer uh, as well. Whereas with the auto contrast, the colors stay the, the same amount of saturation that they had prior. They're just being sharpened by increasing the black level and the white level.